Winter's only back with another video. Showed up to the court today, ready to get some hitting in, and it just started pouring hail, and it's soaking wet now. So we're doing a long-awaited, much-asked-for video. What is in my tennis bag? Gonna talk a little bit about my racket journey that y'all saw at the beginning of the year. Let's just get right into it. First off, we're gonna start with the bag. Advantage Tennis. They've got the best bags in the game. This all black thing, like, I've never seen a better looking tennis bag. They've literally thought of every compartment you could think of. So if you're in search of a new tennis bag, like this is where you need to go. Um, I'll put the link in the bio, but this is the best tennis bag in the game. No question about it. <clears throat> Let's start with the, uh, the front pocket. See what kind of things I got in here. Some tennis elbow remedies. Struggled with tennis elbow the past couple months. This thing and this thing been a huge help to me, a huge help. Um, so we're getting better there. Still have some flare-ups every now and then, but it's getting a lot better. Then we've got some Babolat balancing tape. I don't think it's lead. Um, it's just some weight you can add to your rackets. Um, I like to add some weight every now and then, you know, uh, experiment, I guess you could, you could call it. I don't know much about rackets, but um, we just kind of go off a of feel. Big thing here, I used to be a huge turn grip guy. Um, and Lucky or Lukey grips. I don't know how you how you pronounce this. They sent me these over grips. I need dry over grips here in Texas. It gets really hot. My hands get really sweaty. These feel better than Turner grips, which I am shocked by. And they come in different cool colors instead of that Turner grip blue. I will keep using these. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan. Now let's get to the other side. What we got going on here? First off, I gotta show this. There's a cooler in this bag. Um, not that I'm using it currently, but it is very cool for the summer. Let's get to the other side. Do we have anything in here? We got sunscreen. Vacation Classic Whip. They also sent me this. I need to remember to use this more. It's important. Then in here, I've got all my, my elbow sleeve for tennis elbow, and then just a bunch of wristbands and whatnot. You know, nothing really important here. Uh, the pocket radar to test my serve speed. If anyone, uh, you know, really wants to see how fast they serve, it's always a fun little gadget to have. And then we got some bands. You know, I see all the tennis players warm up with these things. I've never used it in my life. Never used it, but I put it in a bag to make it look like I know what I'm doing. Now let's head on over to this compartment where we've got our shoes. We've got something new we're trying out. The K-Swiss Speed Tracks, I've used them about four or five times. Ditching the beloved Vapors, I love Vapors. And um, those new leather ones wear out in literally three weeks. So trying these bad boys, they're pretty sick. I love the way they look. We'll see, we'll see how they hold up. Now let's get into the meat of the bag. You know, I've always got the camera. It's always in the bag. This is my camera bag we shoot with a Sony ZV-E10 for the court footage. It's a really great camera. I use a 10 to 20 millimeter range lens on that thing. It gets to the whole court and you know, high quality footage. What else can you ask for? I always bring it to the court. We use these Rode mics for the, uh, you know, if we got anything to say. And then this is plugged into the camera to get court sound. So I plug this into the camera, this into my phone to get any sort of on court commentary. This is getting the court sounds because the court sounds from these are not good. You don't want to hear us grunting and, and huffing and you know all that kind of stuff. Then I got my strings. You know we've got quite a few things from Coraline. Um, made for winners only. That's pretty sick. Yeah so they sent me a bunch of strings based on my preferences. I'm looking for something a little bit more comfortable right now. We've always got some Lucy's, some old balls some new balls, trying out the diadems. Now, the moment you are all waiting for, what racket am I using in 2024? We have the Wilson Ultra, my racket of choice. Nah, this is not my racket. Um, I keep it in my bag. Uh, it's my girlfriend's, if we ever go out to hit, this is what she uses, it's a little easier to play with. She's pretty talented. Keep this in the bag for that. Um, we've got my old sticks. 
the Wilson Pro Staff X. Still love this racket. I'll talk to you about why we switched, but initially when we started the channel, we got a little deal with Wilson where they sent us some free rackets, gave us some money to use at their store, and we were under contract for the year. That ended, and I was like, you know what? I've only tried two rackets in my life. So I wanted to go and like really test out different rackets to try to find out what was best for me. So that's kind of why I started looking around. I tried a bunch of rackets. I tried the Pure Arrow, both the 98 and 100. Um, I liked both of those sticks, but I could not keep them in the court. They were super powerful, just not for me. Um, I also tried the Head Radical Pro, and I, I'm just so anti-head. I, I don't know why, but I just don't like Head's brand, so I was just like kind of, no. Racket was okay. I just think I was like so biased against head that I was like, no. I tried out the Blade V8 again because I really liked it the first time um, and still liked it. You know, it just didn't give me what I was looking for. Then I tried the V Core 95. Now you're asking, why would you try a 95 square inch racket? It's because my local tennis shop didn't have the 98, which I wanted to try into demo for like three weeks or something and so i just tried the 95 and i absolutely loved it that was my favorite racket that i demoed unfortunately i'm not good enough to play with a 95 square inch racket so i waited again to try to get that 98 and i just could not get it on demo i even went to tennis warehouse to try to get that thing and i could not demo that racket um, for the life of me as much as i wanted to try it so I never got to try the 98, even though I love the 95. So that's kind of a what if. I'm impatient and had some big matches coming up. I was playing Winston. I was going to California to play the Low Desert Open. So I needed to like choose a racket before then. And the thing that I liked most, I'll pull it out now, was the E-Zone. A um, Couple reasons I liked this, the muted feel, I just felt suited me better. The main reason though, is it just absolutely increased my serve speed by like 10 miles an hour immediately, which I kind of build my game around the serve and that's kind of why I really liked this. And then I also need a ton of help on my backhand and this thing has a lower launch angle. I have a pretty flat backhand. So this has helped me keep my backhand in the court a lot more than the pro staff. Yeah, I'm really digging this. Right now I have Poly Tour Pro in. I typically string at, this one's 55, this one is 53. Before that I was stringing at 58, 56, moved down because tennis elbow. Absolutely loving these sticks. Couldn't ask for more in the thing I like most about them is the look, the all black look, especially when you throw those, those new grips on them. It's just insane, just a great look. My favorite players use this racket too, Kyrgios, Ben Shelton. Um, so big fan of the E-Zone. That's pretty much it for the tennis bag. Let's get into the rest of the gear. A lot of people ask us how we shoot our videos. We have the best match play production on YouTube. Kyle, walk over to the uh, the other camera and show them the setup you have for some on-court footage right now. All right, cameraman Kyle, he's on-court doing the on-court footage. He's got the Sony A6500 with a 18 to 105 millimeter lens. The lens is what does the work here. Super sick. Um, Kyle, tell us a little bit about your, your camera, if you know anything. Yeah, I mean, it's all in the lens. This thing right here, like the best thing about it is the way that it auto focuses, so I really don't have to worry about it whenever I'm shooting Trey and he's moving around or just whatever the subject is. It does a great job of picking up what that is, so it's literally perfect for um, for tennis. If y'all uh, if y'all know YouTube at all, this is GM Golf's first camera. This is the OG camera used to start Good Good Golf. Um, Grant Horvat actually gave it to me. I don't know if we can keep that in the video or not, but this camera's got some magic in it as well. Um, and so, that's yeah. kind of what we're riding on. We're riding on, we need some viral moments to come from that thing. 
ASAP. We don't really have to open this bag. This is actually not a winner's only toy and hopefully Kyle's employer doesn't see this, but we actually, he works for a small marketing firm, does video and stuff for them and they needed a drone. What drone did you get? This is the DJI, DJ, DJI Air 3. So we got the DJ, DJ, DJI Air 3. We're shooting some zone, some, gosh, we cannot <laughs> talk. We're shooting some drone footage now in the tennis matches. You've seen some of it. Let us know if you like it, if you want to see more of that. But yeah, I mean, the thing, it, it's so sick. Give some feedback on that because, you know, what type of viewpoints y'all like and stuff like that. If we're gonna start using it a little bit more in the matches and stuff like that. Um, feedback is always helpful for us to try to up upgrade that production, so. Yeah, we're trying to deliver the most quality tennis matches on YouTube. Maybe not the most quality tennis, but the most quality production for any tennis match. Let us know what you think. Did I make the right choice with the E-Zone 98? I'll probably try some more rackets in the future because it's fun. Um, but that's my racket of choice for now and probably will be for the foreseeable future. Let me know what you think about strings. That's something that I really don't know about. So put some stuff in the comments. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Winners only. Peace.